hi guys welcome and welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is alicia tania and here on this channel we talk about all things fashion beauty lifestyle motherhood um and all the things we've been doing a lot of vlogs lately so if that's your vibe if that's what you're into be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads we are outside today um I showed you guys a little bit of what I got from Lowe's but I never did all the planting and potting with you guys because my camera died the kids were going crazy and I just wanted to get everything in the ground I'm starting a little early this year and I am just a um, an amateur really learning how to do all of this stuff so we're gonna do it together um, I just want to show you what I got cup that's not a cup. That's Apollo's food bowl. A cup? Yeah. So we're outside. It's a beautiful day today. Um, first thing I'm going to do is show you guys what I've got so far. So I got my herb garden going. I'm about to pot up some mint and then water my plants. Um, look at my mint laying dry here. So this mint smells so good. It's a little little weak right now but we're gonna get it some some dirt we're gonna go get some dirt for my garden and fill it up I water everything because I don't have my system set up so I'm about to set that up soon. not even in this frame so I don't have my system set up yet I just want to figure out I don't even know like <laughs> where I'm putting stuff um, I did do my herb garden and I got that figured out it's so heavy I'm not even gonna lift it up for you because it has a ton of dirt in it. I'm just gonna show you guys. Basil, thyme, and rosemary. And I'm telling you, this grew since Sunday. Sunday is when I put all this in here. And it's grown since I put it in here. So she's looking good, she's looking good. So then I just have to put my mint. I'm gonna put my mint in here because I know it's gonna go crazy in here because mint is very, very wild. She's wilted and I need to hurry up and get her in something before I mess her up. So I'm gonna go get some dirt, put it in this pot and y'all can just come with me, okay? Let's go. Yeah, your girl loves plants. She loves like just being outside. Miles, no, no touching his butt. Come over here. Yeah. See, and my garden is dry. And yeah, my tomatoes need some love. Ooh, that one grew up a little bit. <gasps> That's grown taller already. Okay, so I am doing something right. In the dirt, we in the dirt, y'all. Mm, and I got my workout sneakers on. I don't even have on my, my boots. Miles, come over here. I don't want him going down the basement steps. Ah, ah, ah no. No. If you guys watched one of my last vlogs, I showed you guys um, me trying to get through this soil and um, cleaning it up. Because last year it was a mess, but now it's all pretty the dirt is so rich and juicy and dark yes hey, is that you? <laughs> so, it is so dry <laughs> poor baby I'm so sorry I just didn't get to you on Sunday um, <gasps> get up dirt balls got my mint here Mm -hmm. Ooh, it's worms all in this dirt. That's good. There's only one worm in here. But I know this mint's gonna go crazy, so break this up a little. Not too much, but just a bit. Get a little deeper. Like the wells never, I could have made this into multiple. Break it up a little more in the dirt. And then 
and filler all around. I'm no Plantarina, but that is my girl. If y'all don't follow Plantarina, I'll link her below. She's my favorite plant lady. She's more like house plants. I don't see her doing any food gardening, like food substance stuff. But I'm sure she does. So this is gonna go crazy in this pot. I already know it is. That's why I put it in such a bigger pot than, than it was in. So I'm gonna give her some water. Put my little sign in and then we're gonna water everything we have out here. And I'm gonna set up my sprinkler because. Okay, so we got the mint down. This is sweet mint too. So. All right, Miles. <laughs> Look at him outside. You see, you want to put shorts on? Short sleeve shirt? It is pretty warm. He like his long sleeves. All right, guys, I'm going to show you guys what I got in this garden. Um, and then I'm going to set everything up so you can see. Where does he have this line, this water? This is the hose I used last year, and I connected all of them. I'm about to connect it. Oh, mm -hmm. let's put it back on. Mm -hmm. Shoot, good job. Shoot. Oh no, what you do? Yeah, I gotta water them so they don't die. All right, guys, so I got, yeah. <laughs> So just to let y'all know what I have in here. So I got some tomatoes here, as you can tell from the tomato steaks. Really the only thing I can really do right now is tomatoes and cucumbers. And they look so good. Those are like some beast tomato. I don't know, they're like big boys. And then these are cherry tomatoes. And I'm probably gonna do one more tomato plant right here. I'll probably buy it next weekend. Then I have 45 day cabbage right here. I don't, I don't know, we'll see. And these are raspberries. <laughs> Obviously it's nothing there, but a stick. But it's, come, it's gonna come along. And I plan on adding a few other things um, before Mother's Day, but I wanted to get some stuff in there so the soil's really good. And I wanna make sure I actually get something, but my little cherry tomatoes have grown. But see how it's a little white on the edges of that leaf? I need to get a sprinkler system. I'm gonna order one tonight on Amazon. Um, and I'm gonna set up my watering system. If you can see that little black hose there, that's my watering system and that's gonna water the roots. But I need something that showers over top and waters the foliage. Hey, come over here, little one. Come over here. No nap, Miles. Good job. Yeah. system Rome was a built in a day but we have water yay Ooh, look bees that's a good sign bees are a really good sign we have water yes, yes, yes. all right I think I'm gonna turn her off 
close enough. I don't want to soup her out. But she hasn't been watering in a few days, so just I'm gonna give it like five more minutes. Hi, girls. Way. Look. So, I'm going to do a little bit of skincare. Hmm. So, let's do some skincare. Let's do AMSR. at all. Why is my skin so red? I don't know. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna have another reaction to something. Hmm. Alright, pray for me. Something not showing well in the eye area. So we're going to stop here and not do anything else.
because I'm not feeling that. That feels really weird. So I'm gonna just go right to my belief cream. And I'm not even gonna put any retinol on because I'm just too afraid. So just go here because it's really red. Hoping that I don't have an allergic reaction. Uh, two new products. That uh, calmed my face down. I think. I think you guys just watched the allergic reaction in real time. So, I don't know. Don't really know what's gonna happen there, but I'm hoping that it's okay. All right, I'm gonna stop here because I don't know, I feel like I'm having a reaction to something and I'm not really sure what else to do, so. Um, I don't know, it's like really red and blotchy in my eye area. See, like right here, like that's not normal for me. Like that never happens. And I think it's this, I think it's the Ordinary Multi-Peptide Eye Serum. It could be a combination of both of these together, which I'm just like, why sell them together if you're not supposed to use them together? And it could be all of these together because this percentage is pretty high, 5%, right? And I don't know the percentage on either one of these. So I can look it up. It says tripeptide 38 for the eye serum. Um, let's see, there's so many different peptides and there's a certain percentage. Polysorbate, that's vitamin C. Does it still look bright here? Yes. Let me turn my lights. Like, this isn't normal for me. Like, it's never red here like this. Y'all can't really see it. Let me turn my light bright now. Can y'all see it now? I have an allergic reaction in real time. So I'm about to get some ice and rub it under my eyes. Wash it off. never had an allergic reaction to anything and you know what the ignorant part is i was like as soon as i started putting on i was like i should have tested this on my forearm first so yeah i'll be y'all guinea pig it looks so red that's not normal for me i never experienced this ever with my products so i don't know ordinary i don't know if i got a bad batch or if it was the Clean Skin Club product, but. This feels so good. This feels much better, because it wasn't, it wasn't burning, but I could like feel the redness under my skin as I rub it in more. This is probably bad. I don't know what to do. Well. I'll let it die down. If I wake up in the morning and I got a bunch of 
welts or something swelling i'll take some benadryl but okay it's 11 13 it looks better just from the ice so maybe that helped i don't know i don't know but never again will i do so much at once yeah, it looks better just from the ice, but I've never experienced redness like that before. Hmm. That's what I get for trying to show y'all some skincare. All right, so I'm about to make myself a protein juice because <laughs> I'm hungry and my husband also brought me a pickle. So I'm gonna have that and protein shake because it's very low in calories and it's really good so let me do that you guys can watch me make it Troy wants some fruit so I'm gonna cut him up some fruit and make my protein shake and go to bed and I'll probably close out the vlog for today because we didn't do much but I don't have much to give. I'm tired, okay? But we're vlogging every day. Every single day, even if it's just five minutes. Y'all will see me every day on your screen. So subscribe, hit the notification bell. Shake, not stir. Just cutting on this thing because I don't. I don't know what else. A Kara Kara orange. It's like perfect. Hey 
guys. I just wanted to say hi. I am um, on my lunch break about to work out. Um, okay, let me start again. I'm on my phone. My camera is upstairs somewhere, but I just wanted to open up the vlog. I wanted to um, quick 15 minute cardio and then I'm going to do a weight training um, I'm going to do my girl, Caroline Gervain. She's on YouTube. I'll link her name below or one of her videos. Um, I've, I used to do her videos all the time. I just always loved her weight training videos. If you guys know any other good, um, workout videos on YouTube, comment them below, comment their names. I'm always open to trying new people and, um, yeah, so I'm going to do a quick little workout. Uh, I have a meeting in about two hours, basically. So it gives me some time. I'm going to do a quick 30-minute training, 15 minutes on there to warm up on my little stepper to warm up. And then that's it. I'm not going to do too anything too deep. And that's going to be my workout for the day. Um, I meant to come down after my... I walked yesterday. Let's just start there. So I walked yesterday and um i walked for a good three miles yesterday and then um so i went it was like a 50 minute walk basically and i was power walking i was pushing and i was pushing the stroller so i feel like that was like extra um making my heart rate go up a little bit more so it's raining today so i'm not gonna be able to go for a walk i wanted to but um I love when it's beautiful like this because I feel like walking is just like the ultimate exercise. It's calming. It's not as strenuous. So I'm thinking about adding nightly walks to my like schedule, my day or whatever, or maybe a mid afternoon, even if it's just like 15, 20 minutes. But I'm about to hit on the Stairmaster for a bit, do the thing, and then that's going to be my workout for the day. Um, I'll just try to be active tonight. I need to like do some laundry and things like that. So I'm not just sitting on the couch, but we got to get it together. I meal prepped. I don't think we talked about it, but I'm going to show you guys um, my meal prep. I'm going to eat that today. I made like a dirty rice with ground turkey, chickpeas, white rice, celery, onions, um, carrots. It's really good. Um, well, I haven't had it since I made it. I had a little sample of it <laughs> after I was done making it, but... I'm going to throw some music on and try to find the Carolyn Gervain video that I'm going to do. So. So you guys know I love soup, but I'm also on a fitness journey right now and I'm trying to utilize meal prep and portion control to meet my weight loss goals. Proper Good has amazing pre-made soups with the perfect macros using bone broth and protein and nutrient rich ingredients. All of their soups come in pre-portioned pouches, which only take 90 seconds to heat. And get this, no refrigeration is needed. These are perfect for a quick, nutritious, and healthy power lunch in between my crazy day full of meetings while working from home. 
They also have overnight oats in various flavors, which are perfect for me for my pre or post workout meal. They gave me this little glass container, which I can use to prep my oats overnight and just simply pop them in the microwave the next day. Oh, and aren't these little spoons the cutest? Do you see that smiley face? How cute. You can find proper good products at your local Walmart, or you can have, head over to their site and use my discount code Elisha Proper for 10% off of your order. Thank you, Proper Good, for sponsoring this portion of the video. because I haven't spoke to the camera all day, but <laughs> I've got a few different things going on. Um, and we didn't really do much today. I worked, I um, started talking to you guys when I started working out, but then I had an issue with my phone. I'm, I'm sorry, my TV, um, because I didn't bring my camera into the basement when I was working out. Then I had an issue with my phone, I mean my TV, so I couldn't complete my workout on the TV. I had to do it from my phone. So I didn't really give y'all much. I probably gave y'all one little snippet of my workout, but I did a, I had a really good workout session. I'm not even telling y'all what y'all doing. I'm doing my hair right now. Um, I just wanted to do something. So I'm doing some Bantu knots because I want to go with my same old silk press that's been sweated out. Um, it just, it just doesn't need to be straight anymore. So since it's stretched, I'm going to get a really good, uh, Bantu knot out. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to give this area some TLC. I took a shower earlier and I did some skincare, but um, I did my skincare. I did. I did my skincare already, so I don't have to do my skincare. I'll probably just spritz my face with a little bit of um, <coughs> hyaluronic acid and just probably go to bed after this. I do need to fold some clothes, so my plan is to finish my hair, then go fold some clothes. Um, but yeah, I. Just wanted to come on really and say hello because I haven't really chatted much. Um, for dinner, I made um, turkey and cheese sandwiches, a sandwich, and I use my high protein bread, high, high protein, high fiber bread, um, and I use mustard instead of mayo. What else? And then I had my soup from Proper Good, which. <clears throat> It's 
sponsored portion of this video, which I showed you guys earlier and talked about. And the soup was so good and so healthy. I was looking at the macros and I was just like, wow, this is actually really good and really healthy. Um, everything has a really good source of protein. And you know, that's like my focus right now, trying to get at least 85, 85 to 100 grams of protein a day in um and today i don't think i did that good i was supposed to have a greek yogurt but i just wasn't hungry so i didn't eat it um after this i'm gonna have one of my protein shakes but the soup was really good i had the red pepper red pepper meatball soup and it was really good and y'all know i love soup like i eat soup all year around i love having like soup and a salad or just soup <laughs> and a sandwich or just soup alone so um i'm excited i also got overnight oats and i meant to put some away in a container and put it in the fridge but i don't have any um i don't have any like oh i put way too much water in this one i don't have any like uh i don't have any um What's the word I'm looking for, y'all? I don't have any, like, oat milk or any type of, like, milk. I prefer, like, a skim um, milk with a little bit of heavy cream. Um, even the overnight oats had protein in them. Like, craziness. Guys, I haven't done a Bantu knot in a very long time, so. I'm trying to focus in and I'm just doing big giant sections like I plan on wearing this tomorrow like morning and majority of the day until it dries so hopefully I don't sweat too much when I'm working out but I wasn't trying to make this too wet so I just my I have a straight fro at my root <laughs> and I should just wash my hair but I just don't feel like it like I just I'm not in the mood I'm just not in the mood to wash it I just don't have it in me <laughs> so I'm using I didn't even show you guys what I was using I'm sorry I'm just doing water and mousse this crazy sexy curl by do the supercharged honey which honey is really good for moisture it's a natural humectant so my hair is feeling pretty dry but um i didn't want to put like a cream a moisture cream in there um i usually choose mousse because mousse dries really fast in comparison to like a heavy oil or whatnot so i'm just gonna twist her up and then we're gonna go and fold some clothes, do some laundry. Guys, I really don't have much to talk about. Like, <laughs> I'm trying to think of something to talk about. Like, I'm really excited to work with brands. Like, I was so excited when I saw that brand show up and my husband brought the package in and I was like, oh my God, a brand sent me something. Like, I was so excited. Like, just so excited. Um, so definitely go use my discount code go try it out that stuff is actually sold at walmart also which i've never seen but i'm gonna look out for it now i mean i'm gonna just have them send me some more but hopefully and um yeah but it was really really good i plan on um having that it's just really nice that it comes in all these like packaging and you don't have to store it in the fridge. But anyway, I talked about that enough in the beginning of the video. Um, I wish they made like kids meals, you know? Meals that kids would eat, like a mac and cheese type of thing, but like healthy with like butternut squash, like something like that. You know what I'm saying? That would be really cute. Proper good. Hear me out. <laughs> I'm gonna put that in like a suggestion box or something. I wanna do a few different styling videos. I've been trying to get like um, inspired um, for like 
different styles. I did make a purchase. I'm not supposed to be buying clothes, but I can't help it. Like, <laughs> I just want to feel confident. Um, and really, what I should have did was waited until I switched out all of my winter stuff. Um, because I still haven't done that. And I want to do that this weekend. So I'm definitely going to vlog that and show you guys or i might just make it a video and not a vlog like you know spend time with me but i will be posting every day i think i'm gonna post every day until the end of april so make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of it i just i i'm seeing the like i'm seeing more and more activity and it just makes sense i might as well just keep the vlog fun going um and then after that i'm taking a really really long break from vlogs <laughs> i'm probably gonna take a really long break from vlogging for a while because it can be annoying i just don't think like um my life is that entertaining but you know i watch other vlogs and i just enjoy like seeing people live their life and like do normal things but also i like seeing like products people use or the methodology of like things that they do on a regular basis like i really enjoy cooking um i haven't cooked at all this week so i'm definitely gonna try and cook something this week i really i really just need a day off honestly and i need a break i need some self-care um i haven't had a solo date in a while so maybe we'll do that coming up soon like a real solo date like not me just going to go get my nails done or, even though those count but I, I mean like a real solo date where i go sit at a restaurant alone by myself with no child um and all the things so yeah i want to do that I need some braids for real. I'm gonna have to hit up my sister. She is my personal braider. She braids my hair for me. I've never got my hair braided like professionally or by anyone besides my sister. And I don't think I ever will. One, <laughs> I'm very tender headed. Um, I also have very, very, very um short patience when it comes to things and i like to be able to talk freely with what i want um and my sister just gets me like she knows like the sizing she knows that i don't like really heavy braids she knows that i like um bigger parts and less hair like she just gets me that y'all can see the Final results. I tried to make this a little like I imagine this is gonna be like kind of like a bang. See how it's gonna come out. It's gonna be cute when it's ready. I'll just retwist this again. Just because it's, it's too much. Y'all see this section? It's so bad. I cried about it last night. I really did because you know it's like it's multiple things it's postpartum shedding but it's also hand in hair syndrome like when i'm stressed when i'm stressed or when i'm worried about stuff like with work and everything that's going on with me at work and stuff i literally tug it and i also do it when i'm like anxious or thinking about things or just in deep thought like sometimes my husband has to reel me in like girl stop pulling that thing he don't say girl mm -mm. he don't say girl he says babe stop pulling that little piece of hair you got there little piece it used to let me when i tell y'all it used to be just this let me see let me see it used to be the just this just this piece and now it's all of this that's missing yeah so 
Y'all be claiming all these different brands and things. Somebody said Rogaine. Somebody, some people say all these oils, Amla oil, whatever, like all these like weird things. Somebody also said Batana oil. Someone else said that I need 100% pure Batana oil. I got it all. I got it all. It don't matter if I can't keep my hands out of it. That's the problem. That's the problem. I wear a lot of ponytails <laughs> so that I could try to grow this piece, but my hair won't grow in a ponytail. And that tension is just not good. I'm gonna have to put a bobby pin here. Put a bobby pin here, cause it's not gonna stay. Yeah, that'll work. So I'm gonna give it some oil now the thing with the batana oil and I, I probably should i probably should try the batana oil again but the thing with the batana oil is that it suggests that you put it on like right before you're about to wash your hair and i don't have time for that i mean i'll do it see how it's like all the way down here y'all it's bad like now i'm moving it to the side here i'm gonna have all of this struggling girl i'm just oh i'm gonna put my hair i'm putting my hair i'm putting a bonnet, a bonnet on i don't like showing y'all when i have a bonnet on but child we finna wear a bonnet and fold some clothes and i'm probably just gonna close out the vlog look at that that is bad like i've never that's never been a thing for me never never had this issue before mm -mm -mm. and also it's spreading up here like these pieces are really short too my widow's peak is even short i just need to leave it alone leave it alone edge control on it too so um this is the edge fixer max hold by kiss Mm -hmm. I bought it at the hair store maybe or I don't know where I bought it but we are gonna lay them down now so that when I take my hair down it be nice and laid for the reveal and also so I won't touch it overnight. But look how that slipped that down. Y'all saw what it looked like before. The edge control is no joke, y'all. No joke. Slickery. Make my part actually look like it's full. Ciao. We are going to throw the bonnet on. And I just want to like yeah so let it like stay down so i just want to like watch something and fold clothes so that's what we're about to go do just gonna wash my hands and then i will catch y'all on the other side where all my clothes are and it's pretty it's not bad it's like three piles that i need to fold and it's not a lot really um i just gotta put it away tomorrow is my plan so at least if i fold it then it's not as much of a hassle when I go to put it away tomorrow. Y'all was focusing on them towels that whole time. I hate that for me. I need to get a mic. I do have a mic. I don't have a mic for my camera, but I do have a mic for my phone. I just don't pull it out all the time. So I know now that, you know, I need to make sure that I'm adding the mic to my calls. I mean, my calls. Here we go. I'm not at work. I'm talking to my friends on the internet who don't respond back. I'm talking to you. Talk to me below because I'm doing all this talking, all this editing, all this pouring out, and you can't even say hello. Or say hi. 
you know? <laughs> At least like the video. I be having 400 views and one like on a video. 890 views, 10 likes, two comments, one of them being mine. <laughs> it's so unfair, but you know, that's the game. But we do all this editing, we do all these things, and the most fulfilling thing is when we get a comment from a subscriber. I don't even care if it's a mean comment. Comment. I can't promise you that I won't say anything mean back, but, or get you blocked, but, nevertheless, Let's go fold these clothes. I've been procrastinating for two days now. I, this is like the one chore that always beats me. I can wash the clothes. The, long, the washer and dryer can do all the work. When it's my turn, child, I fail. I'm also missing a nail. So we're gonna have to do that sometime soon, but it is what it is. Alright guys, let's go fold some clothes and let's find something good on TV to watch them.